Red Balloon has changed from something that I think was um, quite informal and um, organic because we grew it in this house and we made it up as we went along to something that now we are clear about what we offer children who won't go to school, what we do with children who have anger management issues or um, are depressed or have eating disorders or self-harm. We made it up a lot of the time in, in the 90s and we'd call in experts or I'd phone up a friend and now we know because we have, we, we have the expertise in-house to deal with it. The impact Red Balloon has on children's lives is transformative. Over 70% of the children have been out of school for uh, seven months or more when they come to Red Balloon. And when you think of how important education is on the quality of life, you know, the, the support that Red Balloon allows the children to stabilise their situation, it allows them to develop and allows them to reconnect with their education and thereby their future. Bullying is still common in schools. For example, in Britain, it's on average about 20% of children get victimised, which makes it one in five children who are affected by bullying during their school career. If you're a victim of bullying, it can lower your self-esteem, you can feel depressed, you lack trust in relationships, and it can have long-term effects as well. Even in adult life, you can feel this lack of trust of, of others. The children that we're dealing with are the children that have been failed by the school system. They have nowhere to go. They have no access to education. Where would they be without Red Balloon? I had what they call acute anxiety, which means it manifests itself in lots of different ways. It's a way to deal with grief and trauma. So when you have both at the same time, so sort of bullying and bereavement, you end up sort of having lots of very weird things happen to you. I dealt with lots of mental health issues and then after numerous suicide attempts I was hospitalised. It would always been my ambition to get into a good university and Red Balloon sort of helped me realise I could succeed in that by offering me more DCSEs than I thought I was going to get, getting biology, English and maths. And then they offered me so many different opportunities. I do feel that maybe there's a sort of 24-7 culture, there's no escape from bullying these days, that there's constant access to negative and derogatory comments so they can post something up and those comments are going to be there 24-7 for them to look at. People can keep adding things, people can contact them and communicate with them at any time of the day. What Red Balloon does, it has a combination of three parts. Academic provision, counselling and therapy in a community. And those three things equal recovery. I've made friends who hopefully I'll stay friends with forever because we're all so similar in all the most important ways. All of us are ambitious and all of us are trying to get better at being us. Bullying is underfunded and many of the interventions that are being done are carried out by charities who often have got an uncertain future. Where perhaps the largest shortfall is going to be is in helping pupils who are being very severely bullied, those who are finding it quite difficult to cope or even perhaps not coming to school because of being so severely bullied. I'd like to see every major town in the country with a Red Balloon Centre or something similar that will help highly anxious students and there are more and more of those um, to access an education. Ever so slowly they help build up your confidence and in the end you can do whatever it is you think you can't because you just have to trust them to get you through it. The outstanding contribution Red Balloon's made is it's restored young people, some of the young people um, to society. It's, it's restored their lives. It's absolutely transformative. It's, you know. Red Balloon is a robust, growing, vibrant organisation. We have an excellent CEO who has vision of where we're going to take it. He can grow it in a way that is sustainable and forward-looking. We are going to be able to provide education recovery programs to more and more children, whether that's in centres or on Red Balloon of the Air. And we have an extraordinary future in front of us. <laughs>